welcome my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another video for you guys this is going to be let's get deep into this and let's find out exactly where this relationship or this connection is going let's be nosy and snoop into it and see what's unfolding so i'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes so that you can choose set number one set number two set number three now as you guys can see i don't have anything prepared so we're going to do it organically i'm going to channel through this process so take the messages the way they resonate if it resonates with you take it for what it is keep in mind if whatever shows up it is not unfolding just yet don't discard it you can come back i'm not going to put no time frame in this you can come back revisit this video um a lot of the times when we do uh readings and they are channeled readings it doesn't necessarily mean that that's exactly what's happening right now however it is foretelling. So again, you can come back and revisit this video. Okay, my lovelies, let's get into this. So hey, lovelies, let's get into it. We're going to do set number one first. Let's see exactly where this relationship is going, where this relationship or connection is going. Spirits. What are the messages for those that are set number one? Where is their relationship or connection going? Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. So for those of you guys that chose set number one, you have the high priestess. And this is your position. So you are intuitively picking up on a lot of information. What they're telling you is don't ignore your intuition. Uh, this could be psychic dreams. This could be lucid dreams. Uh, there is definitely a message that spirit is trying to guide you through this process. For some of you guys, there may be a feeling of not knowing what to do at the present time. You may be confused. What they're telling you is remove yourself from all distractions. Stop trying to force. Stop trying to force what the desired outcome you want. Um, look at things clearly and concisely. Pay attention, like I said, to your intuition. I feel that there is almost like a feeling of resistance of not wanting to see or not wanting to accept something um, because this is your position. And what they're telling you is the knowledge or understanding or the outcome is something you're already aware of. Um, so let's get deeper into this. Now, the card that is representing your partner is the magician. So for some of you guys, this could be a very deep and strong connection. One in, someone in this connection is not ready for this uh, relationship. Uh, it could be that there is some growth that needs to happen. This could be you or this could be your partner. There is definitely a very strong spiritual connection here. Um, but the magician can also represent almost a person coming into some type of understanding and you're coming up as a high priestess. So there is something you're already aware of that you're not really wanting to either accept or you're not wanting to uh, acknowledge. And it could be that the partner understands there is a deep connection. There is a soul connection here. They may be running or they may be kind of uh, challenging the partnership or the relationship because there's fears. There's fears that they still have to work through for their spiritual growth. But I definitely do see that there is someone in this connection that is not ready for this strong or powerful connection. Um, oftentimes, when I see the high priestess and the magician, it's almost like a it's a very strong inclination towards uh connected to spirit um it usually indicates to me a person that is extremely spiritual and the other person could be the contrast of that they are a powerful manifester but they are not really connected to either spirit or they rather chase that of the mundane than to really put in the work um on a spiritual level do you see what i'm saying so it's almost like there is a very strong connection here but someone in this connection is either resisting like their their fears that are coming up in this connection this could be you this could be the partner uh, but someone 
is kind of like you already know or they already know that the connection is very deep and you could be running from this or they could be running from this as well. Now, the relationship itself is the Knight of Pentacles. That's exactly what I was seeing. Um, so, yeah, someone is very slow in acting in this connection. Uh, it could be that their defenses are up. It could be that they've been hurt many times in the past. This could be you or this could be your partner. The Knight of Pentacles is almost like not moving at all. <laughs> um, and there is resistance because there's armor that they're wearing. Uh, so this is protecting themselves. This is, they want to offer you and they know that they have the, the possibility of offering you exactly what it is that you need or what you want in this connection. But there is some type of elevation that needs to happen either with you or with them. Because it's it's the knight is going towards the king. So there's not much maturity there. However, the knight of pentacles is a mature type of energy. But I feel that they're very guarded or they're very slow in the process of this connection. They may be resisting it. They may be weighing their options. It's almost like I know your worth because the knight is holding the pentacle. They know and they see the value in you, but there's still some fear. There's some type of fear here. Like I said, it could be you or it could be the person of your interest. Uh, very, very strong uh, connection here and a strong message. I feel that someone's very impatient in this connection. This could be you or this could be your partner. It's like the partner could be the one that's trying to manifest this. Um, and you uh, may be, uh, with the high priestess, may be trying to protect yourself or not let them or show them that you have feelings and it could be because one or the other is very guarded um and, and there's some type of elevation in regards to your spiritual awareness again it could be you or it could be uh the partner now the advice for this is balance so this is talking about being patient this is talking about making a decision and I feel that for some of you guys, if you're connecting to the feeling of like anxiousness or stress or worry because you're not fully uh, embracing this connection or not really wanting to open up, you're the one that's guarded or you're the one that's, uh, you may be dealing with two different people, you're unsure. What they're telling you here is that there needs to be some balance. If you can see in the background of the two of pentacles, it's emotion. We have water here. So there is a lot. There's a bit of confusion. There is a bit of, you know, worry if I make the wrong decision. Um, if you are juggling to people, this could represent, you know, the high priestess is uh, secretive uh, because they're hiding certain knowledge because they're trying to use that knowledge to be able to make uh, rational decisions. So again, if you are dealing with a situation where you're dealing with two people and you're feeling like you're unsure, what they're telling you here is you need to balance your emotions or you need to make a decision. Um, the Two of Pentacles is also speaking to me about the, you know, the never ending or the eternal symbol. Um, there is fear and anxiousness uh, here with someone. It could be you or it could be your partner. But what they're saying here is, okay, so what I'm hearing is what is meant for you is never going to pass you by. If you are juggling or dealing with two other people uh, and you're unsure who to choose, what Spirit is telling you is, again, don't hold back from making a choice because you feel like you're going to make the wrong choice. What is meant for you will come to you, um, regardless of how many circles you do. Do you see what I'm saying? So again, there is a need to make a decision. Um, now, if this is uh, the partner's energy, they will be making a decision. And again, with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel that it's been long in the making. However, I do see this, um, I see this very strong connection. It's almost like they can't shake that connection. Uh, they may be comparing, if they're the ones dealing with another person, they may be comparing the connection that you have with them versus someone else. And they know that that's not the person that really gravitates towards them. But it's like they're fighting that because they're scared of either giving in or 
opening up and letting you know exactly what they feel uh, because they feel like in the past they've been hurt and you may have the upper hand if they are completely honest or transparent with you. Now, the likely outcome here is the Empress card. Beautiful energy. Again, I feel that they definitely know your value. They know exactly what you're worth. They know that they want to be with you. But there is, you know, resistance. And I feel that someone's resisting because they're not, they're not, they weren't prepared for this connection. Um, with the Empress as the likely outcome, uh, you will be able to manifest something long term in this relationship or in this connection. But they are telling you that there may be uh, a bit of waiting or a bit of patience on your part. Uh, maybe that is something that spirit, that's why spirit is saying there is a need for someone uh, to grow. Maybe if you happen to have or, or be in the past, you've always been very um, like you want it now type of thing. Uh, this could be a lesson that you need to go through for your self growth, being patient. Um, with the Empress card here, though, I do see the relationship blooming. I do see this elevating to a stronger, deeper, or more committed connection. Um, very, very beautiful cards here. So I'm going to pull out And we have the Queen of Wands. So this is your message. And the Queen of Wands indicates being more confident in yourself or knowing your power. Uh, this is about trusting. This is about letting go of your anxiousness or your worries or uh, even the anxiousness of wanting a specific outcome uh, to come in quickly. What they're telling you is stay in your power and be confident because knowing your worth is not going to, like, you're not going to settle for anything less than what you know you deserve. And I feel that deep down for some of you guys, you know that it's worth the wait if you are, you know, if it's been a very long process or a long journey. Um, beautiful energy here. Let me see what is Spirit's direct message here. Please give me a specific message for those that chose set number one to clarify uh, this reading here. What is the direct message? Okay. And we have 30. Beautiful. This is about sexuality, intimacy. This is about the initiative. This is romance. Uh, this is devotion. This is passion. This is giving in to your emotions. So if you're the one that's guarded, my lovely, uh, let go of your fears. Let go of what holds you back. Um, I understand that when we go through difficult situations, it's really hard to be able to uh, bring our defenses down. But sometimes it's necessary because that's the only way you can allow someone in. Um, and I do see, like I said, I do see it blooming. I do see it growing and deepening the connection. So very beautiful reading. Let's go to set number two. Please allow me to see what is there. <clears throat> The card that represents them, the card that represents their person of interest and the relationship itself, as well as the advice for this situation and the likely outcome. Spirits, what are the messages here? What are the messages for those that chose set number two? Where is this relationship going? Where is this connection going? Give me clarity, insight. Allow me to receive the messages coming through very clear and concise. What is the card that represents them? What is the card that represents the person of interest, the relationship itself, the advice, and the likely outcome of this connection? Spirits, what are the messages here? What are the messages for those that chose set number two? What are the messages for those that chose set number two? What are the messages for those that chose set number two? Their card, the card that represents their partner, the relationship itself, the advice, and the likely outcome, spirits. Okay. Okay, my lovelies, here we are with set number two. So let's get right into it. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Where is this relationship or connection going? Let's get right into it. So the first card, wow. <laughs> 
The first card is the High Priestess. So the High Priestess, again, we have this in set number one. What are the odds in that? And this was exactly the card that was representing them. For set number two, this is the card that's representing you. So the High Priestess is all knowledge. It is knowing and understanding. It is listening to your intuition, paying attention. Um, what is really standing out for me is the cross uh, that she has right at the center. And that's speaking to me about the heart chakra. I feel that there is a need for you to really pay attention to your what your heart is telling you. Get out of your head and pay attention to what your heart is telling you. Um, that's the message that's coming through very strongly. Now, we're going to see a little bit deeper into what is going on here. The card that represents the partner is the Seven of Cups. So I feel that this person definitely is dealing with multiple people. You may already know this. You may be feeling like there is a bit of unclarity or confusion. You're feeling like you, there is a need for you to see clearly. Okay, so what I'm getting is for some of you guys that chose set number two, you're very connected to the idea of who you think the person is. So what I mean by that is you're trying to see the best in them. And with the seven of cups here, this is a person that is confused. This is a person that is uh, looking or weighing different options. This is a person that doesn't necessarily know exactly what it is that they want. They may be a bit confused between you and someone else. And with the high priestess, I feel that you already know this. I feel that for some of you guys, like, if you've been, so when I said, listen to your heart, I feel that there is like something in you has been telling you that something is off or that uh, they're not being completely honest with you. And there is a bit of resistance there. You're wanting uh, to see um, through rose colored glasses. Do you see what I'm saying? It's almost like you have this idea or this perception of this person. Maybe you've been dealing with them for a very long time. Maybe there is a feeling of they can change or there is a feeling of sooner than later they're going to pick me or they're going to choose me or they're going to want to, you know, if they've been honest with you and they've told you, I'm not looking for anything serious. It's like there's hopefulness there on your part. And it's not founded in good grounding. It's almost like you're allowing your fantasies to take to take over. And what they're telling you is you have to pay attention to the red flags. You have to pay attention to what spirit is trying to communicate. Um, and I feel like this person, for some of you guys, this person was honest. They were, you know, they did tell you to the point that they weren't looking for anything serious. But for others of you, it's almost like they've portrayed themselves a certain way. And you often find yourself like wondering or thinking like, well, if they didn't care, they wouldn't do this, they wouldn't do that. But then at the same time, they're doing this, they're doing that. So it's almost like they know how to play the part. Do you see what I'm saying? Like they know how to play with your emotions. And what Spirit is telling you here is pay attention if your heart is telling you something is off or they're not the right one or you're holding on, it's time to let go or it's time for you to make a decision in regards to either accepting them for who they are or keep it pushing. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like uh, there is some people that really don't care if other people deal with other people, believe it or not. So again, it's like take them for who they are. Uh, don't expect them to, to change because they're not going to change because of you. Um, this has to be a decision that they make. So again, what they're telling you is, be practical in the approach to this connection, okay? Now, the relationship itself, we have the Eight of Cups. So I definitely see someone walking away. This could have been you. This could have been the partner. If you, if there was a breakup or some type of separation and there was a feeling of um, like they pulled away and you're unsure why, maybe you're not fully aware. What Spirit is telling you is you've been feeling off and they pull away, they're entertaining other people. Do you see what I'm saying? So the eight of cups does represent someone walking away. Like I said, it could have been them or it could have been you. Um, that was like, I'm done with the games. I'm not dealing with this anymore.
but deep down there's still like a wish or a hope that things may progress better or become better but what spirit is telling you is there's better things for you that are coming you need to walk away from this or stop holding on to the idea of who you want them to be and to see them for what they really are now the advice for this situation is the page of pentacles so i feel again there is a need to be practical in this approach in this connection there is a need for really take inventory of this connection the pros and cons if there if the cons outweigh the pros then you're just wasting your time uh, page of pentacles indicates very slow uh, very like they're taking their time communicating or reaching out like i said if someone walked away from this connection uh, or there you were left you know kind of they ghosted you or whatever uh, they're they're going to continue communication it's not done um, but this is to be honest with you you're just wasting your time this is a person that is very immature they don't know what they want um, and they are very good at playing off of people's emotions or they're very good at playing with multiple multiple people at the same time uh, so again, what they're telling you is look at things for what they really are. You deserve so much better. Do not waste your time. Uh, time is something that we can never get back. And the way I look at it is when you give time to someone, that is an investment. And it's an investment because obviously there is hope to build something in the future. If you're giving time and effort to someone that is not reciprocating, you're wasting you're wasting your time. Walk away from this. It, it's not it's not good for you. The likely outcome here is the Six of Cups. So again, I feel that this is very immature energy. I feel that this is a person that is going to continuously keep going around in circles. This is the type of person that comes in and out of your life. And when they're out, they come back in and they pick up conversation like, like they never disappeared. Um, this is a person that... Uh, likes to portray themselves as like um, a childlike, playful, um, but almost like uh, come off as unexperienced. Um, or it could be a person that if they do have children, they can use that as an excuse of the reason why they got busy, et cetera, et cetera. But again, this is a person that knows exactly why they're doing the things that they're doing. They are not being honest and you're wasting your time. Uh, so again, really think about that because I feel like what I'm hearing is like it's a waste of time and it's a waste of your virtue. So let me see what is the card for those of you guys that chose set number two. What is the card that they need to that they need to embrace or that they need to understand spirits? For those that chose set number two in regards to this situation, what is the card that they need to embrace? The energies that they need to embrace or that they need to understand at this present time. Temperance. Temperance is healing. Temperance is being patient. And I don't mean being patient on waiting on this person. It's being patient in regards to matters of the heart. It is about if you continuously keep dealing with an energy of people that are very emotionally unavailable, they're just playing games, they're just wasting your time. If this is a pattern, it's time for you to take a step back, um, stop dating for a bit, just so that you can get to, to, the, to the issue at hand. There is something within you that needs healing. There is something within you that you need to heal from in order to be able to attract a person that is going to match the energy of what you're wanting. And I say wanting because I feel that vibrationally you may not be there. You may want a long-term committed relationship, but vibrationally you're, there is lack of self-love or there is, excuse me, or there is lack of confidence within yourself that you are more prone to settling, putting up with shit that you shouldn't be putting up with. And it comes down and it boils down to 
me having the need to heal something from the past. Um, this could be, you know, way back in childhood. Uh, this could be relationships that you've had. If you have a tendency of going from one relationship to another, there is a need for you to heal in order to be able uh, to fully be healthy to come into a relationship that is going to be a healthy relationship and that is going to bring to you the happiness uh, or not the happiness, but bring in the love that you're willing to give. Um, so let me get one more message for you in regards to this. Oh, and we have number 17. So there is definitely change that's coming towards you. There is a modification in the present time. Um, so when I say modification, there are certain things that are unfolding in order for you to fully see it clearly or to understand that there is a need um, to love yourself enough to walk away from this connection. Um, there is a there is change in the air and there is this is the card of mobility so there is a need for you to either walk away from this connection or there is a need for you to embrace change the the change may be the ending for some of you guys for others of you it's you that needs to call or create the ending in order to walk away and no longer allow this person to continue wasting your time or coming back around whenever they feel like it um, but there's definite change here and with the temperance there is healing as well so again I would encourage you um, to really try to, and I feel like you've, I feel like you guys have been going through a healing is what I'm hearing. Like you've been, it, it's, it's, it's been a long journey. I can't even get it out. It's, it's been a very long journey in your healing. And I feel that when you prepare yourself or when you get your hopes up, there's almost like a feeling of, it never goes the way you want it to go and there is a halt to the relationship and it doesn't move forward and there is a feeling of like frustration because you're trying to manifest you know healthy loving abundant relationship and they're telling you yes it's been difficult and it's been a very long process for you but the change is coming but you have to meet that vibration you have to you know, if a person is not giving you the respect, if the person is not giving you the time, if the person is not giving you the effort, remove your energy from that. Because if you stay, you're matching their energy. Do you see what I'm saying? And you're not able to bring to you what you really want. So don't, when it comes to what it is that you want, do not settle for anything less than what you deserve or what your heart is in need of at this present time. Don't, like, try, don't try to meet them halfway is what they're telling you. Learn to love yourself enough to know that you are the prize, to know that you are worth it, to know that if they're not going to come at you the right way, do not waste my fucking time and walk away. Okay? All right, my lovelies. Let's go to set number three. Number three, where is their relationship or connection going? Allow me to see clearly and concisely where this relationship is headed. What can they expect? What is unfolding before them in regards to this connection or this relationship? What is the card that represents those that are choosing set number one? What is their person of interest or target's energy? What is the relationship itself? What is the advice based on the situation? And what is the likely outcome? Spirit guides. What are the messages for those that chose set number three? What are the, what is the outcome for those that chose set number three? Please give me the cards that represent them, their person of interest, the relationship itself, the advice, and the likely outcome. Spirit guides. Show me clearly and concisely the cards for those that chose set number three. Allow me to see clearly and concisely their card, the card that represents them, their person of interest, the relationship itself, the advice, and the likely outcome. What are the messages for those that chose set number one? 
I mean, set number three. Please give me clarity and insight. Allow me to see clearly and concisely. Where are the cards? What is, where is this relationship headed? Where is this relationship headed? Allow me to see clearly and concisely the card that represents them, the card that represents their person of interest, the relationship itself. What is the advice? What is the likely outcome, spirits? One more. Okay, here we go. All right, my lovelies, for those of you guys that chose set number three, here we go. Let's see exactly what's going on. Where is this relationship headed? And we're starting off with the Ten of Pentacles. And this is the card that represents you at the present time. I see you guys very stable. Um, there is definite um, abundance around you or you will be finding the stability that you're looking for. I see you guys really focused in the future. So for some of you guys making um, a lot of goals and aspirations that you're trying to achieve, that you're trying to accomplish, I see you having the need or wanting um, to create almost like the partner, the person of your interest to match your energy, to bring in the same effort and energy that you're bringing into this connection. I see you much more grounded and stable. Definitely, definitely know exactly what it is that you want. Now, the person of your interest has the eight of wands. So this is a very intense energy. This is a very passionate individual. This could be a person that is very, very athletic or a person that is very goal oriented and motivated. Like their motivation is off the charts. <laughs> uh, this could be a very active person. This could be an individual that has a lot of goals and aspirations. And I definitely feel like your energies are almost in sync with one another. I feel that they are much more outgoing or extrovert um, much more than yourself. You may be a bit more reserved. It is a general reading, so it could be vice versa, you guys. Just keep that in mind. Um, but they are telling me that this person is very motivated and they're very intense, very passionate. I feel that they're definitely bringing out the spontaneous side to you. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be a bit reserved. You like to plan things out, etc., and they are quite the opposite. However, I feel that their intensity, their passion, their excitement brings a lot of excitement to your life as well. Um, I do see them really like either they came hard at you and they were trying to get at you or this person just knows what they want and they definitely go for it. They're not wasting any time. Um, I, I'm almost sensing like an Aries type of energy. Like they're just go getters. They're going to get what they want. Like they don't hesitate. Uh, and this is amazing energy um, versus you. I feel that you're much more structured. You're much more like you plan things out. Um, you're much more in your head uh, versus them. It's, this is a person that is so passionate that they liter literally follow their heart uh, without any hesitation. So very uh, strong energy there. <laughs> and the relationship itself, we have the queen of pentacles. So I do see, uh, I do see progress. I do see commitment or some type of uh, deepening of this connection. The queen of pentacles can also represent a very strong foundation. Um, especially because we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So uh, I do see that this um, this connection or this relationship is definitely, you know, for the, it's built for the long run. Um, they are definitely, they see you um, as valuable. They see you as a person with, you know, of integrity, someone that they can really marry, uh, whether you're female or male, it doesn't matter. They definitely see the value in you and, uh, there is a lot of admiration is what they're telling me. So it could be that this person admires something about you, whether it be your physical beauty, whether it be the way you are. You could be very motherly or you could be very, it's definitely structured, but I feel that for some of you guys, you give off like the 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 nurturing, the very practical, the giving good advice. Um, and they definitely appreciate that because they definitely, because they're so intense and because they're so passionate and motivated, it's almost like you're matching their energy because they've always wanted or they always try to manifest someone that would be kind of like their ride or die type of energy. The person that if they're being very spontaneous or about to take a risky move, 
uh, that they can rely on their partner to give them sound advice. Um, and I definitely feel that that's you for sure. And that's how they're viewing you. That's how they're seeing you. Uh, a person that definitely is always going to give them the best advice to the best of their interest. Um, and, and again, I'm getting like very strong uh, energy of that of like, I genuinely trust you or I genuinely will get to the point of trusting you, uh, especially when it comes to growth and advancement. I feel that for a lot of you guys that chose set number three, it's like either you motivate each other or you have gotten to the point of understanding that you bring out the best in one another. Um, and, and again, it's very like, it's so weird because I'm feeling like there is a lot of stability, uh, a lot of promise in this connection. Uh, longevity is definitely what I'm seeing here. But their intensity and their passion, it, like it just meshes so well. And on a personal level, um, like I said, I don't know why I'm sensing like Aries energy, Sagittarius type of energy here could be a Leo as well, fire energy. Doesn't have to be, that's just the energy that I'm sensing. Um, but on a personal note, it, it's, it, it almost feels to me like, um, so uh, a while back, you know, um, I was actually in a very committed long-term relationship with a man that was fire energy. He was in Aries. And I was much more, you know, the reserved one, the practical, the one that, you know, thinks before I speak type of energy. And his energy was just like, boom, in your face. Um, and that's the that's the vibe I'm getting. That's the energy that I'm getting. It's almost like you guys are so different, but, but you guys mesh so well and bring out the best in one another. Um, where you lack passion or where you lack, um, I don't want to say passion, but where you lack having to be that or having the need to be risky or take some risk i feel that this person is definitely going to push you uh to to get out of your comfort zone and for you i feel that you're bringing to them that stability that wise sound advice that uh old soul type of energy so it's very beautiful that's the reason why i was saying it reminds me of aries energy because um and it could be a sagittarius or a leo like i said doesn't have to be their sign it could be just their uh the energy that I'm sensing, but um, Aries is the baby, you know, of the zodiac. So it's like uh, they're very wanting to see the world and through different eyes, and they're so excited, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I see you much more structured. I see you much more like practical. So I think that this this is very uh, it's crazy the energy that I'm sensing for you guys. All right. So the advice for this situation or this connection is the two of wands. So the two of wands is again. Uh, taking the risk, um, taking the risk in regards to the partnership, trusting the process. Uh, this is of like literally the potential of where this relationship goes basically boils down to you. Um, the two of wands speaks about partnership. It speaks about growth, advancement. It also speaks about travel. Um, but more than anything, what they're telling me here with the, the two as an advice here, the two of wands is, you know, if there is a feeling of childlike energy, don't let that throw you off or don't feel like they're not the committal type because I definitely see that um, for some of you guys, you may see them as like, um, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like they take certain unnecessary risks, but when it comes to relationships, I feel that this person is 100% committed. Like, once they feel that they love you, they, they're completely committed to, to you and the relationship. So again, I feel that basically the court is in, the court is in your hand, um, in your, the ball is in your court, sorry. And the likely outcome is the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is emotional connection, depthness. This is about being emotionally open. This is about not bringing your guards up. This is about trusting the process and being in tune with your emotions. This is about having the need to even, uh, you know, embrace the feminine energy. Again, doesn't matter if you're a male or female. It's about bringing your guard down and being or embracing that feminine energy, that loving, that nurturing type of energy. Um, and this could be because, you know, in the past, perhaps you've gone through quite, uh, quite a struggle and they're speaking about this is basically like 
what you've been hoping for or what you've been wishing for is definitely manifesting this person is here and they're here to stay that's for sure so let's get into what is the energy for those that chose set number three what what energies do they need to embrace in regards to this connection what energies do they need to embrace in regards to this connection spirit guides and we also have two queens here in this in this reading I feel that for some of you guys, um, the partner, like pay attention to how the partner treats their mother. Um, I feel that they're very connected to a mother figure. If they didn't grow up with their mother, whoever was the one that nurtured them or raised them, I feel that there is like a major connection, like a very strong connection, a very loving connection. And I feel that just like just the way they treat their mother or the way they treat their mother figure is how they're going to treat you. Um, and that's a beautiful energy. And that's something that I always tell my clients, like, pay attention to how they treat their mother, because a person that does not treat their mother well, what can you possibly expect, right, <laughs> for them to treat you? Um, but they're definitely telling me, they're definitely telling me that, that there is like, pay attention to how they treat their mother. I feel that there is a very beautiful bond there. And it's almost like they're willing to embrace or they will be embracing you as like not the woman or the man that took their baby, um, but more like they've gained another daughter or another son. So it's a very beautiful type of energy. Okay, let's see. So the energy that you need to embrace at the present time is the three of swords. And the Three of Swords, don't get scared, the Three of Swords just could represent that that's the reason why I was getting uh, a bit defensive. The Three of Swords speaks about betrayal, hurt, difficulties, but I feel that it's in the uh, reverse position. So you're definitely coming out of uh, something that was hurtful or was painful. Uh, perhaps throughout your process of meeting this person, you could have had your heart broken a few times. And that could be the reason why they were saying there's a need not to be so guarded. There's a need for you to like uh, basically give in to this connection and let things unfold organically. And you're going to be very surprised uh, the three of swords again in reverse signifies healing. It signifies um, kind of getting to the point of understanding why it never worked out with other people. Um, and there's almost the feeling of appreciation is what I'm hearing. So for some of you guys, maybe you've never really been in a healthy relationship. And I feel that this person is definitely going to um, really nurture you in a way that you've never been nurtured or loved before. And that's a very beautiful type of energy. So I'm going to be pulling out one more message here uh, to finalize uh, those that chose set number three. What is the final message here, Spirit Guides, for those that chose set number three? The final message for those that chose set number three in regards to this situation and this connection. Okay. And we have number 34. And this is, again, I, I feel very strongly. Um, this is talking about finances. This is money. This is wealth. This is individuality and being open with your individuality or accepting others individuality it could be that this person is a little bit more eccentric than you um but this also speaks about you know this speaks of and, th and this is a message that in the beginning um they said and and i'm sure you guys remember obviously you're watching this um where i feel like you guys are going to bring out the best in each other and i feel that this connection is definitely going to bring much more structure. That's what I heard. Um, so it could represent that you guys are able to build or grow your finances. Um, you guys are able to motivate each other to chase each other's dreams and to be able to achieve not only growth and happiness, but success in your endeavors when we're talking about finances. So there is definitely uh, a give and take in this energy. There's definitely talking um, uh, uh, you know, in regards to your finances, in regards, I, I feel like there is this momentum of bringing out the best in each other. And really, like, I see them hyping you is basically what I'm saying. 
I see them hyping you and I see you hyping them and it's almost like you guys motivate each other. You guys are like number one, the number one cheerleader uh, towards each other. And this is going to create um, really the potential to go after each other's like achievements and desires and you will achieve. Uh, and I bring and, and I see this connection bringing a lot of stability financial stability and growth towards one another so this is beautiful energy you guys um i definitely hope that you guys enjoyed these readings if you like these readings comment below and we'll do this more often i wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon bye